Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I show you a really cool class trial team you can use for this Dragon Guard event. Cool classes, certainly worth getting towards level 100. Grab tier 1 if you can, pretty cool, get the potion of enchantment. All allies start enchanted at the start of battle for this event only, and you grab some more stuff too, like grass trial sigils, which is pretty cool. At tier 5, there is the class mythic weapon, Dragon's Eye. Certainly worth picking up. Destroys gems and transforms the last enemy into a empowered baby dragon. It used to be one of the best weapons in the game. It was like in its day before it got nerfed down to just uh, transforming the last enemy. It used to transform, I believe, if I remember correctly, any enemy. So you could have like literally the whole enemy team as baby dragons in no time with a nice brown loopy team. But because there's so many more troops in the game now which, which loop... And things like that it was it kind of had to be nerfed really because it was too easy to get the whole bunch of enemies as baby dragons it was a, a fun weapon though in its day that one but still worth picking up but let's take a look at this a team gonna have some fun with this today uh mang and three times the great worm you can use the exact same team as the underspire team if you like with that wings of destruction and the uh damage to all troops with a senzia given a 50 percent start that is really cool and if you've got diamantina you can go diamantina times two you can have a cosmic dragon in there or a gem dragon with a senzia and still do absolutely tons of damage really quick so that will absolutely work but with this team we've got effectively got three damage to all troops here this uh, does damage to all but the reason why i'm going to have fun with this is because it creates two skulls when its turn begins which is going to be six skulls when its turn begins because we got three of them so on the early stages we'll just auto match skulls and rip through the enemy but on the harder stages we can cast mang first which is going to eliminate all armor from an enemy then deal magic plus one damage to them and gain attack equal to armor eliminated so on the harder levels we can strip away the armor and do untold damage with our new increased attack which is going to be easy to get with these skulls because of the six skulls this creates if it happens to get charged up it can chip in with some damage to wall at the same time banner wise we can go for a plus two red plus one yellow minus one green tinker banner and geomancer is good for this you don't actually have to be in the, the class that the class trial is in to benefit from it you're still going to get class class xp but you can do it in, in, in Dragon Guard. I just like it in Geomancer because there's several things which really help out. Reduce damage from skulls by 50% is good. You get, I think it's 40% reduction in skulls from a Dragon Guard. So still good in that as well. We get a 50% start anyway with this team. But in the Dragon Guard team with the Senzia, obviously you would get that as well. But you'd need a Senzia for that, which takes away two of the skulls we create. And we can have stuff like Impact. We can have Anti-Magic Sphere. Tactician, rock solid, gaining a barrier when matching brown gems is really cool because we do that to charge up our mang. Stone mastery is nice, and a fortitude. But if you did want to do this in in, in Dragon Guard, then it's um, certainly viable. Like I say, you still get the reduced damage from skulls by 40%. You get that these nice extra benefits as well. And in the talent trees, you can have all brown allies gain two armor, a fireproof vanguard. Razor armor, which is going to again add even more damage. Uh, commander, gain two to all skills if in first position, which you will be. And uh, banishment, so all, yeah, very good. So Dragon Guard is certainly good for this at the same time, but I do like Geomancer, particularly for the easy 50% start and the rock solid. But let's see how this does. Let's jump in. All right, I've cut out some of those early battles. No point showing them super duper crazy easy, but let's show how we go about this as the levels get a little bit more tricky. Always good to get brown if you can straight away because it means you can take a, a skull hit without taking any damage and at the same time we're going to get Mang charged up. And we got a hit and this they just died straight away. You can use Mang to boost up our power, kill someone else at the same time and when the skulls come along it pretty much just wins by itself. Really nice and straightforward. Emperor Corvash is next. There's our brown match, always grab that if we can. The good thing about doing this this way as well is it kind of softens up enemies at the same time. If you do get to cast your great worms, like there was a lot of yellow there at the beginning for example, then basically a man has taken away the armour and made more little softies. Done. Q. 
Come on, giant gerbil. You're not going to be happy about this. And let's get some brown. Might as well take it when it's an extra turn. And let the skulls come along and do the work for you. And on to the next. Queen Isabel. Grumpy Queen Isabel. Might as well get that because it's there. And yeah, that's rather handy, thank you very much. Might as well give him a wallop because we are enchanted, so we're ready next round anyway. Let's take away the armor from that thing. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't really need anything will do, really. The skulls are going to do the damage. Well, they survived. But yeah, a couple of ways to go about this. You can go if you've got a couple of Diamantinas, two times Diamantina with an Ascensia. It's going to get it done nice and quick. You can use the Underspire team in exactly the same way. That'd yeah, be a lot of fun as well. But yeah, I do like to bring out the old Great Worms now and again. Oh, blimey, skulls everywhere. Might as well make the most of these while they're there. Yeah, let's bash off our armour. Here come the skulls. Bags of damage. And done. On to the next. Who's it going to be? Emperor Liang. Emperor Liang's actually a pretty underrated troop. I actually quite like him. Let's get our barrier ready and some bash power. Oh, that wasn't the best one actually. I could have done a higher value armor thing than that but it didn't really affect me that much but it is important if you're a newer player to strip away the armor of whoever's got the most to get the biggest increase in attack that you can just do a couple more and we'll call it a video of a day video of a day and you probably know it all right, uh, let's uh, stick it on her. Here come the skulls. They're gone. So are you. And you. And you. Right, let's just do these last couple of battles. Grab that for the barrier and the... Juicy skull whack. Juicy the fifty percent star and the potion of enchantment. We're ready next round anyway. They've got the most armor. This gives the biggest boost in attack. Gone, gone. They're gone. What? We have to wait another round. And everybody dead. Dave. Everybody. Everybody's dead, Dave. Do do do, no brown. Get that then. Mang is up. Don't have a barrier, but it's okay for me. I can can let him have one hit. Feeling in a generous mood. Of course, if man gets charged up again, you, you can you can do it again if you like. But right now we can do that. She's down to next to nothing, and kabooshed out of there. And that is it. Um, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Pretty handy for picking up some nice, easy Dragon Guard XP. But there's a video if you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful. Be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. Maybe even think about joining. It's at the cheapest price YouTube would let me do it at. But there it is. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.